What's up guys, JV2017 here with your daily Grand Theft Auto 5 tips and tricks videos. Today I am showing you guys how to make big money by playing the stock market in Grand Theft Auto 5's story mode. Now the reason I emphasize story mode is because this is only in story mode, this is not an online. Also, if you've been a subscriber of mine since the game came out, I already uploaded this video. I had to unfortunately take it down because it had too many inaccuracies and incorrect information, and I was honestly probably screwing a lot of people over with it with some of the information. So I decided to redo this video because I still think it's helpful information. However, I want to get it correct for you guys and not screw anyone over. So the main way that you are able to play the stock market and get a ton of money in the story mode is by doing the Lester missions and then listening to his stock advice and then carrying out the mission and of course the mission affects the stock and in return you just make a ton of money. However, before you're able to even start these Lester missions or even get them on your map, you need to have completed the fame or shame story mission. It's not that far into the game, but once you've done that, these Lester missions will pop up. The first Lester mission is called Hotel Assassination. And this one is required, by the way, in order to go further in the story. So you need to do this right when you get it. And you need to invest in Beta Pharmaceuticals, which is found on the Bossack Stock Exchange. Yeah, I know, it's called Bossack, it's funny. But anyways, this is the online stock exchange. Sometimes it's down for maintenance, so make sure you check to see that it's up before you do this mission. So anyways, you need to invest all of your money into beta pharmaceuticals. Before you do that as well, I would suggest saving just so you get into a rhythm and you know how long you need to wait before the stock, you know, tops out. Because right after you do this mission, the stock will just shoot up and you'll get a lot of money. But you need to kind of watch it and monitor it and do a cycle of sleeping at your safe house and just keep watching the stock market. And when it starts to top out, you want to sell everything. Sell all click the sell all button on your stocks and you'll be able to cash out and pretty much double your money the second mission is called multi-target assassination now before you do this guys i would suggest doing the final mission in the game because you will get millions of dollars not to spoil anything you will get millions of dollars from this mission and each time you do this you can pretty much double your money so if you're smart about it and you wait until the end of the game you can really, 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 really benefit from doing this at the very end of the game. So again, this mission is called Multi-Target Assassination, and you need to invest all of your money into debonair cigarettes. This is on the LCN stock exchange, the offline one in story mode, so you shouldn't have a problem connecting to this one at all. Also, you need to do this before you start the mission. Do it before, because the stocks will shoot up, and then again, you'll need to monitor them and then sell all when they've peaked out. The third mission is called the Vice Assassination, and you'll need to invest in the fruit stock on the Bossack. Again, that's the online stock market. Make sure that's not down for maintenance before you do this mission. And also, you need to invest before you start this mission, because again, the stock will shoot up, and you'll be able to sell all once you see that that stock is peaking out and double your money. The fourth mission is called Bus Assassination, and this one is a little tricky. It's different from the rest, because in this one, you need to invest in Vapid on the boss sack, which again is the online one. However, you need to do this after you do the mission because as a direct result, you're killing somebody that you know has to do with the Vapid stock, so the Vapid stock is gonna shoot down. It's gonna shoot down immediately, but if you invest in it immediately when it's down, it'll climb back up and you'll be able to sell when it's back at its normal you know, rate. So that's how that works. You'll need to monitor it and see where it kind of peaks out and then sell all and you'll be able to make, again, double the money. The fifth and final Lester mission is called Construction Assassination, and you'll need to invest in Gold Coast Development before you do this mission because this stock will shoot up right afterwards, and of course you'll need to, again, monitor the stock market, and then when it starts to peak out, sell all and effectively double your money. So if you follow this step-by-step -step guide, and let's say you got $20 million after the last mission in the game, you have $300 million, like you've made a ton of money. So it's really easy to do this, you just need to follow these step-by-step -step things. And if you do screw up, you have that save, like I told you. If you did save, like I said, you have a save to go back to, and you can, you know, play it again and see how much money you can get. But anyways, this is pretty much the surefire way 
to make a ton of money by playing the stock market in story mode. If you learned something new from this video, I would really appreciate it. Click the like button. It would really help me out. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for daily Grand Theft Auto 5 tips and tricks content, as well as GTA Online tips and tricks too. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you later. Peace.